because of the difficulties that we ran into in class yesterday, I wanted to show you this so you could see it for yourself, see how the phylogenetic analysis works. <clears throat> I have my DNA sequences already opened over here. I'm only going to use the ones down here at the bottom, but of course you should include with these the DNA sequences you identify. I will copy these. I already have the phylogeny FR open. I'll go up here to one click and select. In this window I'm going to paste my sequences and you should not need any other alteration so I'll just go down here to submit and we'll hold our breath. If you see this screen, that's usually a good thing. But, uh, we saw it yesterday and it still didn't do us any good. Great. This is what we're looking for. <clears throat> it actually worked this time. And hopefully it will work when you do it as well. If it doesn't, um, certainly email me and we'll try to troubleshoot that problem. So this is the phylogenetic tree. Yours will look similar but different because of the different organisms you include. Um, this is one of those figures that should appear in your paper. A couple notes about it. You don't have to worry about any of these numbers. These are rather complicated math numbers which I myself don't understand. But uh, in short, the numbers here in the red are a confidence interval. So <clears throat> this 0.99 means that these, all the sequences over here are clearly different from this sequence over here. Notice, uh, for instance, this one is a very small confidence number, which means that the differences between the butterflies which are lumped over here and the honeybee which is lumped over here is very small. <clears throat> you can export this to a PDF. Boom, there you go. Alter it as you see fit. Uh, there are a ton of options. You can change, you can rename the branches, you can double the size of the image. So alter it as much as you want to and to make it presentable to your desire and insert this into the paper um, you can there are several discussion points that you can include here to discuss how accurate this is of course this is based on the assumption of common descent <clears throat> um, for instance the orb weaver spider in this case is lumped over with the vertebrates rather than the invertebrates which is not what you would expect so you can look for patterns like that throughout and feel free to discuss some of them in your discussion section. <clears throat> the most important thing to remember is what does a phylogenetic tree actually show you? It shows you one thing and one thing only. It does not show you how related these organisms are. <clears throat> that is what it tries to show you. But it only shows you how similar those DNA sequences are together that you put in. I hope this helps.